Hey folks, Carl here and welcome to episode 5 of this guest build for emodels.co.uk of ICM's Ford Model T Ambulance Late. emodels.co.uk Make something awesome. Okay folks, so episode five we are moving into paint as you can see everything is prepped and ready for some undercoat so i am not going to show you that on video it's just a matter of spraying this getting a good even cover of the uh, primer and uh and a little bit of highlighting so i'm going to head on over to the spray booth i'm going to get this primed and prepped ready for some paint so we will be back in a moment Okay, folks, so as you can see, we have primed all of the model. And we've got the, the basic black down on these parts. So we're going to get those out of the way. The engine cover's there as well. We've primed on the inside of one, but not the other, because this side, of course, is going to be open. So we're going to need to paint that whole thing. So we'll get those to one side. As you can see, uh, there's the main cab, all primed. Um, as you can see on these two pieces, we've actually gone over and sprayed some white where we want some highlights. So we're not going to be touching this one because we're just going to spray the base colour on that once we come round to it. And we'll also get that out of the way. So the main box part of the cabin itself, you can see we painted the inside white. That is pretty much all as we're going to do with that. We're going to put a wash in there when we come to it. So on the outside, we're going to paint all these panels that we put this wood grain into. We're going to paint that first of all with a very, very light brown colour, which is this one. We're using, what's it called, XF78, a wooden deck tan. So we're going to paint the, each of these panels where it's wood, that deck tan, okay. Just using this, we'll thin it a little bit before we paint it on, we'll put two or three coats on. We're going to be using Tamiya. Now Tamiya is notoriously quite difficult to a brush with a paintbrush. The main thing is, before you start with your brush, we're going to be using this brush here, quite a big one. Um, we don't need to be delicate, we don't need to stay in the lines because all of this is going to get masked off afterwards. Wet your brush before you start painting, it stops the paint getting into the ferrule and drying inside. It makes it a lot easier to clean. And the secret really with Tamiya paint is, paint for a little while, then completely clean out your brush and start again because once the Tamiya stuff starts to dry on the brush it starts to get very bitty and that's when it starts to make a mess of the paint job so clean your paintbrush often and keep this reasonably thin and very much in the adage of two thin coats or maybe even three thin coats so I'm going to get my palette out and everything and we are going to get this first color down and get two or three co coats on. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, folks, so we have a little bit of water in here. We've got our paint, we'll give this a little bit of a shake up. Like so, we do have a proper stir over by the spray booth, but for the amount we're gonna be getting out, just a quick shake like this should do us fine. Don't worry, we'll cut this bit out. Okay, so let's take a look. Ooh, so that is quite goopy in there. So we are gonna give that quite a bit more of a shake. We'll be back in a minute. All right, folks, so we are back. We've given this quite a bit more of a shake up. It was actually quite goopy. It's not been used for a while, or it was a brand new bottle. I'm not 100% sure. So as you can see, that is much better. Like I say, we do have some water in here, so we're gonna wet our brush to start off with, like so. And we're gonna take some of this paint, we're just gonna put it in the well next door, right there. Okay, put the lid back on there, stop anything from drying out. I'm just gonna take a very small amount of water on this side, put it in there, just to thin this out a little bit. So. And all we're going to do, like I said, zoom the camera in a little bit, not too much, like so. So we are literally just going to paint these panels, just like so. We don't need to be neat and tidy. It's going to look quite thin, because it is the first layer. 
And as you can see, that when we put the white on, we've not made it completely uniform. So we are going to get a little bit of color variation, hopefully. So once all this wood effect has been painted, we've done all the effects we want. We are going to be masking these panels out. Actually, no, we're not, because what we're going to be doing, we are going to be adding some of the stuff that eModelers has supplied to us for this video to get some effects on this wood. And we'll get into that a little bit later. So, there we go, that is the first layer of that wood effect. Done, there's no other wood on the vehicle anywhere else. As you can see, that to me, a paint's gone on quite well. So we'll give this a few moments to dry out. So that's something else with to me, a paint. If you start trying to paint over it again too quickly, Again, it starts to drag itself across the model and goes all lumpy. So we're going to give that a few minutes to dry out before we give it another coat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that there because that should be all right for a few minutes. I'm going to just wash the brush out quickly. I just wash the brush out on my mat, put a bit of water down, give the brush a bit of a swirl, get most of that, get a little bit of tissue paper, which I don't have to hand. So back in a sec. Okay, so we have a little bit of tissue paper. So we'll just clean that bit up it's on the book mat, dry the brush out, and then a little bit more water down, and give it another clean. Just like so. I'm pushing too hard, clean the brush, wipe up the water. One more clean, and that should do it. We should see that the water could stay pretty much clear. So that's still gone a little bit dirty. Again, one more time, just until that water stays clean. There we go. That should do us. So let's take a look at this model, see if it's dried out, because how thin this is, it should dry reasonably quick. So not quite dry enough yet. So we'll give it a few more minutes and we'll be back in a second. Okay, folks, so we are as good as dry. There's still a couple of tiny little spots that are still a little bit wet. So we're just going to be careful around those spots. And again, we're just going to very liberally get some of this paint down for the second coat. Um, once this starts to dry, we should see if we're going to need a third coat. So that's the two coats down on that one. on that. So we've got a little bit of access paint around, so we're going to just dry our brush off, take off access where we can see it. Just so it doesn't pull and go too thick. So there we are. What we're going to do now is we're going to let this completely dry thoroughly for about 20 minutes or so. And we'll take a good look at it. And if it needs some more, we'll just repeat what we've done here and uh, get it all cleaned, uh, get some extra coats onto it. And so we will be back very shortly. I'll get this lot cleaned up. Probably by the time I've got this lot cleaned up, we can use this water in here now for cleaning this brush. We should know by the time we've got this lot cleaned up whether that is dry enough and if it's going to need another coat. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, folks. So this is now completely dry. If we zoom in, it's only had the two coats, so you can see 
we are not going to be needing another coat that has dried quite nicely so what we're going to do now is give this a quick wash with a darker brown well actually quite a dark brown we're going to be doing this one with the flat brown from Tamir again XF10 and we're just going to create a wash from this one um, so what we're going to do is going to thin it right down probably about 80 percent water 20 percent paint and we are literally just going to brush it over the top and let it fall into all the the crooks and the nannies of the model so we'll give this a good shake up because this is a new bottle so this is going to get a right good shake up okay so let's take a look at that now there we go that's pretty good so again we are going to put a bit of water in here about yay much we're going to wet our brush again it has almost dried out oh we just pulled the tip of our brush up so the brush is wet we're literally going to dip this brush into the paint and put that into there and that is pretty much going to be our wash for the outside of this model you can see it's quite thin paint over the top of there okay so let me just wipe that down with a bit of tissue paper just get it cleaned up so it doesn't dry as you can see if you don't forget to dry it properly or clean it properly it ends up like this so all we're going to do is we're going to get the lid back on there first like so couldn't do that if I tried to, could I? Let me get that cleaned up before it dries. So, I'm just going to soak our brush. And we are quite literally just going to paint it over the model and let it to sink into everywhere, like so. Oh. I'll brush off a bit so just so we can get the access away. There we go, and that is now what it looks like. So I'm gonna get the other panels painted up and we'll probably let it dry and do another coat. So I will talk to you all in a moment. Okay, folks, so that is the whole thing done. Like I say, I'm going to leave this to dry. Let's get that access off there. I'm going to leave this to dry for five or six minutes. It should be dry. And we'll get another coat, another coat on there. So we'll be back in a moment. Okay, folks, so after letting this dry a little while, taking a look at it, yeah, we can see the wood grain in there, but it's not really that pronounced. So what we've done, we've added a little bit more paint into this and we're going to try it again to see what effect we get. So we will just add some more to our brush. Now we're going to try our best just to keep it within the panels this time, just to see how it goes. Okay, so we've got quite a good coat in on there. We're just going to clean our brush out and take off some of the excess. Trying our best to keep with the grain of the wood as best we can. And lastly, this side. 
Let me see. It does look a little bit messy at the minute. But don't forget, we are going to be painting over the top of these. And we're going to be using some of the chipping fluid over the top. So we're not going to see the whole wooden panel. We're only going to see very, very small sections of it. So we're looking for some sort of variation in the panel itself. So that when we do come and get those little scratches that are in the paintwork, they aren't all just one uniform colour. So once this is done, I am probably going to dry brush over the top of this with another different colour brown. Just to see what sort of effect we get. So this is now starting to dry out quite nicely. As you can see, like I say, it's not going to be looking like perfect wood because we're not going to see all of it. You see that front panel there, it's, it's quite varied on where the wood colour is. So I'm just going to keep working the wet spots out of the, the lines of where everything is. So we should get some wood variation colours in there. So, so there we go, there's the first part. The camera might not pick the wood uh, panelling and the lines of the wood in there, but it might see it there. So yeah, so the last colour we're going to dry brush, once that is of course all dry, it's going to be another brown. It's slight, we just used this one, this one is slightly lighter and we're literally just going to dry brush very, very gently over the top just to give us some, again, a little bit more colour variation in these panels. Because once this is all finished, what we're going to do palette cleaned out while we're talking is we're going to apply some chipping fluid now we're going to be using the AK chipping fluid and we're going to be using the worn effects chipping fluid which gives you that sort of effect there but we don't want it quite as heavy as that we want it more along the lines of this like this top section just here very very light so obviously there is an alternative if you want really heavy chipping you can go for this stuff which is heavy chipping, and this gives you this effect. Yeah, really big, heavy chipping. We don't want that. We just want a very light chipping to give us that very slight worn effect on that paintwork. And obviously the base color of this tank is this one, which is XF25, which is a light sea gray. It may look a little bit light compared to the pictures on the box, which is here yeah so it looks a little bit lighter but don't forget we're probably going to be putting some washes over the top of this ambulance when it's finished and that will of course darken everything down so that is not far off dry now so we are going to leave that to dry nice and thoroughly for a few hours like i say we're going to get a very quick dry brush of this XF, no, not XF10, it's not the darker one. That's the one we used to do the wash with. So we're gonna be caught using XF79, which is linoleum deck brown. Very, very close, but we're just gonna very, very gently dry brush over the top. Quite rough as well. It won't be all of it, it'll just be certain little patches, just to give us a little bit more variation in the color for when we apply this and do some very, very light chipping effects. So I'm gonna get everything cleaned up. I'm gonna clean my brush drill, brush still, brush drill. Oh dear, there goes the uh, the tongue again. So yeah, I'm gonna get finished cleaning up and we'll be back, I'll be back in a few hours. You'll be back in a moment. So talk to you in a sec. Emodels.co.uk, make something awesome. Okay, folks, so we are on to the last part of the wood. This is where we are at at the moment and we want to go from this 
to this. Not a huge amount of difference, just a tiny little bit darker on the raised edges. And of course, we're going to do this via some dry brushing. So we have an old makeup brush. It's quite quite stubbly little end. And we are using XF10 to do this. So I'm sure most of you have dry brushed before. So I'm just give this a bit of a shake up. Like so. We're going to open it up. And we are literally just going to put a very small amount on the tip of the brush. Just like that. And then we're going to take most of it off. So there's practically nothing left on the brush itself. And then we are literally just going to start stroking over the top of this wood. Just to give us a very slightly deeper, deeper darker effect on the, the ridge the raised parts of this wood. And that is pretty much it. You have to keep loading your brush up quite regular. Uh, it seems counterintuitive to waste so much paint, but you're not actually wasting a huge amount of paint doing this. You can see it's starting to take shape. Okay, you can see the difference between these two that we've done and these two that we haven't. So just keep on gently brushing away. If you've unloaded your brush sufficiently from the paint, sometimes you can get away with pressing quite hard. So just keep loading your brush up, taking it all off again. Like I say it seems counterintuitive, but it does give you great results. We are almost done with this side. So we're not going to see most of this with the next step that we're going to be doing. So there we go. I'm quite happy with that. It's just this front panel to do now. Okay, we just want it a random random effect because like I say most of this is getting covered with paint and we're just going to be re removing some of it to give that chipped paint effect which you will see in the next step so I think that is going to do it like I say, it doesn't need to be perfect. It doesn't look, need to look amazing for the effect we're looking for. You could spend a lot more time doing this wood effect if you're going to keep it as it is. I don't need it because, like I say, we are going to be removing, removing, covering most of this up. So, there we go. That is the wood effect as good as I need to get it. So for the next step, let me just tidy this up, put it away, and we'll show you what we're gonna be doing in the next step. So a bit of water on the bench. Get this brush cleaned up. That should do us, yeah. Nothing really coming out of that brush now. That water. So what are we doing next? So the next step, we are going to be using AK's wall effects. They also come with heavy chipping. Now we don't want a, a heavy amount of chipping on this, so we're not gonna be using that. We are going to be using the wall effects and it will give us this sort of effect which is shown on the bottle here, just very small amounts going away. That's exactly what we want. Now, with this being acrylic, I'm gonna leave this a couple of days to dry properly, okay? Because we're not gonna be putting any varnishes or gloss coats or anything on this. And all we're gonna do is once this is dry, you don't really need to shake this up, I don't know why I'm doing that, is brush this over 
or you can airbrush it if you want to if you're doing big areas you can airbrush it as well but we're just going to literally paint it over the top of here where these wood paneling and panels are yeah you then leave this for about 20 minutes to dry half an hour you then spray your desired color for your vehicle of choice in this case it is going to be xf18 the medium of blue spray over the top again leave it to 20 to 30 minutes and then we're going to use water on each of these panels and this paint this should make the paint chip away now the longer you leave this on to dry and the longer you leave the paint on after you've sprayed it to dry the less it's going to chip so in uh, models I've done before to get the effect I want it's somewhere between 20 and 30 minutes to get the effect I am looking for so like I say we'll leave that to dry for a couple of days but I will talk to you in a moment okay folks so it's been a few days since we uh, put that last dry brush on this wood effect and it is now time to get this AK worn effects down and onto the model so we're just going to take it straight out of the bottle bottle give it a quick shake just to wake it up and we are putting this on with a brush you can also put this on with a airbrush if you want to just put a little bit into your airbrush and just spray it as you would spray paint um we're just going to wet our brush take away any excess now we want to get this on nice and evenly just cover the whole area, make it uh, wet all over, and then leave it to dry between 20 and 30 minutes. So we want to make sure we get a good coat all over the area that we want this effect to be. So I'm going to go over it a couple of times just to give it a chance to go evenly over the whole model. So just like so, so it's wet all over. I'll come around again. A little bit on the brush. Spread it about. Like so. Making sure we get it in all the crooks and the nannies. I shouldn't take any effect on your acrylic paint at all. Because we've left it for a few days to, to completely dry off you may find that it pools in places this isn't a problem we do want the effect to be stronger in some parts than others and uh, this will help us do that so as you can see on this side it's pooling a lot more I'm not sure why but it is so we're just gonna get it wet So, take some of that excess off. We want little pools, but not too much, just like so. Nothing on the back there. Give it a quick blow, see if it dries off a bit more. And we're just going to go round it one more time. It is still wet, but we're just going to apply a little bit more. It should hopefully go around a little bit better this time because it's had a little while to soak up some of that moisture so just dabbing it on spreading it around that will do is for that side a little bit more here like so this side I've not used this worn effects before but I have used the heavy chipping fluid it does exactly what it said well it did exactly what it said on the tin so hopefully this will be the same but the effect won't be quite as strong Like I say, you need to let this dry. You can dry it off with the airbrush or blowing on it if you want to, to speed it up a little bit. 
but I'm just going to leave it to dry naturally. I don't want to blow the, the stuff around too much, if that makes any sense. So, there we go. I think I am going to leave that now to dry all on its own. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. So we're going to leave that to dry all on its own, like I say, 20 to 30 minutes, just to make sure it is all completely dry properly. I'm going to wash my brush out with a little bit of water, if I can find my water. There it is. Just to get that stuff out. So, we will be back once I've uh, this is dry and I've put the paint on again. Um, 30 minutes, I know I'm repeating myself, but 30 minutes, thereabouts, 20 to 30 minutes. So, we shall see you in a moment once this is all done. Okay, folks, so that is the paint on this now. We left it for 30 minutes to dry. We then sprayed it with our primary colour, which is, of course, XF18. Gave it a few light coats just to, to get the paint down there, give it a couple of thicker coats. So this now has been sitting for around about 40, 45 minutes. And all we're gonna do now is see what results we get when we apply some water. So, got a little tub, let's put some water in. Need a huge amount, that'll do us. And we've got a shorter little a stubbly brush for doing this with. Just so we can apply some water, give it a few moments and we can start jabbing at it effectively to see if we can get some of this paint lifted off so we are going to start where should we start we'll start on this side so we're just gonna wet our brush we will in fact get a little bit of tissue paper just for drying the brush off when we need to and cleaning the brush up so we don't want the brush absolutely soaking we just want it damp and we're just going to very gently apply some water onto the parts that we want to flake away, like so. Just leave it to soak a few moments. And hopefully, we should start to see some results. So, there we go, we are nice and wet. What we'll do is we'll zoom in a little bit further. 50-50 chance, and we got it wrong. So, we're going a little bit closer like so. So you can see that's just wet now, so a bit more water. And now we're just gonna keep on going. Keep on wetting it. And, uh, soon, it should start to activate. And we should start to see some of this paint peel away.
Okay, I'm going to get this dried off a little bit. We can take a look at what we've got. Let's see if we need to find it a little bit more. Find something a little bit uh, more harsh. Just a little bit harsher than the brush. So, this part I am quite happy with. That's turned out quite well. See that wood effect underneath. This side is okay. I would have liked a little bit more off. Again, this side, again, I would like a little bit more off. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to see if I can find a brush that's a little bit stiffer. I'll find a few cocktail sticks and we will uh, have a little bit more of a go at that. So, okay, so we do have an old toothbrush. Well, it's a brand new toothbrush. I just uh, don't use it to brush my teeth. So we're just going to wet this again quite liberally. Like so. I don't think I'm going to touch this bit because I'm happy with that bit. Get this all wet again. And then we're going to gently go at it with a toothbrush. A little bit stiffer than this brush. And we're just going to very gently see if we can get this toothbrush a little bit damp as well in there. And we're very just gently going to have a go with the toothbrush, see if it'll take a little bit more off. drawers are all covered in paint. Very quickly get that wiped up before it dries too much. There we go. And the cleaning mat we can get clean. Let's zoom out a little bit. There we go. So you can see the mess it's making on my bench. But I think we are pretty much there now. So I'll just get this a little bit tidied up. There we go. And a clean piece of kitchen roll. Move it out of the way. I'll get this dried off as much as we can. Okay, so quick look while it's wet. What we what we'll do is we'll uh, have a quick look now, then we'll leave it to dry properly, and then we'll take another look. So we'll zoom back in. Hey, we got it right this time. So, there we can see the paint coming away. Wood effect underneath. Again, on the front, we've gone for as much off in the middle section as we can. That's where the drivers would be, the driver and the passenger would be rubbing up against. And again, we have the same on the other side. So, I think next time, we won't wait 40 minutes. We'll just wait probably about 30 minutes. So we're going to let this dry properly and we'll come back and we'll take another quick look. Okay, so I will talk to you in a moment. Okay, folks, we are now all dry. So we're going to zoom in in a second, take a look at what we've managed to achieve. Now, I've not got quite off as much as I wanted to. But I think the effect we've got looks okay. So, 
Is that in focus? Yes, it is. So don't worry about the chips on the the struts and the beams and stuff because we are going to be mask, uh, masking this off and respaying the whole body again. I'm quite happy with the uh, the effect we've got on the uh, the front panel there. So I'm quite happy with that. So yeah, this down here looks quite nice. So yeah, I'm, I'm, overall I'm happy. I didn't get off as much as I wanted to. Next time I think I will not leave it quite that 40 minutes that we did this time. Um, we will probably go for something like 30 minutes or something like that. So depending on the effect you want, if you want less than this, just leave that paint to dry that a little bit longer and you will get less off. But the longer you leave it, the more work you have to put in. As you saw, it took me quite some time to get this to where it is at the moment. So happy with that. We can now move on to the next part. So I've lost track of time. I'm not sure how long this video has been going on for. So I'm going to wrap this one up here. And uh, I want to say thank you to eModels for letting me do this uh, build. It's uh, I'm enjoying it so far. It's taken me a little bit of time with uh, real world commitments, but we're getting there slowly. So I'm going to say again, thank you all very much for watching. Be good, be safe. As always, keep making models and we will see you next time. Ta-ta. eModels.co.uk. Make something awesome.